Hey, what is good everybody? Adam here. And today I wanted to show you guys a brand new program called Chaos Vantage. Now I say it's brand new, but it's not actually new. It's been around for uh, probably a year longer as Project Lavina. And uh, Chaos Group just announced, I think yesterday, that it has gotten its forever name and its rebrand as uh, Chaos Vantage. So um, along with the release of the newly named version, they've also released a 3ds Max live link between um, V-Ray for 3ds Max, V-Ray 5, and Chaos Vantage through the plugin. Um, so this is what the plugin toolbar looks like for 3ds Max. So you have one here to export the scene over to Vantage. Um, you can actually import the changes from Vantage back to, to V-Ray, which is cool. Um, you can run a live link between the two, and then you can actually send an animation over to Vantage, which will show up here on the animation timeline. Um, so a couple other things here. How do we think about Chaos Vantage? Um, is it a new standalone render engine? Not really. If you compare it to Lumion or Twin Motion um, and say, hey, you know, Chaos Group's trying to compete with these game engine render engines, um, which is what I did when I initially used Project Lavina, I was a little weirded out because I didn't quite understand what it was. And I think I put it down for that reason. So now that I'm kind of playing with it again, I understand it the intention behind it a lot more. And I think the best way to think about um, Chaos Vantage is not as a render engine, but more as a 3D viewer. Um, so imagine you take your scene, you set it up in V-Ray, you set up all the materials, you set up the environment, um, you set up all your V-Ray proxies, you're getting everything looking how you want it to look. Over in 3ds Max, your scene doesn't look great to navigate around it. So I have a scene open here. Um, so, you know, I have my proxies here. And I think I have a camera turned on. But, you know, this doesn't look great to show a client. So you have your, you know, all the cameras and the light symbols. And, you know, I have forest pack grass. It doesn't look great. None of this looks great to show a client. And um, I can render out my cameras and show them the render, but I, I can render out an animation and take two weeks to render and show them that, but I don't really have an option within the V-Ray framework um, to show a client a real-time walkthrough of the scene um, with all of the materials and all of the proxies um, as their full plants and all of that stuff looking how it should look rendered. I don't have an option to browse the scene in that state. So you can kind of think of Project Chaos uh, Vantage as a, a V-Ray viewer of your scene. And if you think of it that way, it makes so much more sense. So let me... Um, kind of walk you through here. Now, if we think of it as a viewer, that's why it makes sense that we only have access to certain functions. And, you know, if you try to compare it to like Lumion or something like that, uh, that is a standalone render engine where everything that you need to uh, set up and render that scene is in the UI with um, Chaos Vantage, most of what you need is still over in V-Ray. So the bulk of what you, you're going to set up your scene in V-Ray first, and then some of the, the uh, look development stuff you have access to over here in Vantage. So things like, um, turn that light Sorry, that's on a timer. Um, things like your background rotation, um, your background intensity. Um, you could turn on and off two levels of fog. You have your 
um, any lights that you have in your VR scene file. You'll actually have a light mix here that you can control and set up and um, dial each light up and down and control the color. I don't know if you can control the color actually, but you can control the intensity of all the lights independently, just like you can with light mix. Um, you have some control over some of the materials here. Um, you can actually select and move in the scene. So you can actually move objects around in the scene, uh, which is helpful sometimes. This toggles on and off your bloom here. Um, so this pauses our rendering. This turns on and off. I don't know if there's opacity on these leaves or not, but this turns on and off the opacity. Um, this turns on and off collision. So I'm not quite sure why that's there, but this gives us kind of like a fly through or free, what do they call it, free look. So it gives us kind of this full screened version. Um, that allows us to kind of move around freely and the mouse just kind of looks all over the place. Um, it's picking up our move speed here. So if I turn our move speed up, there we go. And now I go to that free look. I can move a little bit faster. If I hold shift, I double that speed as well, which is pretty cool. Um, also, if I set up some cameras here, I can get to them by using the F key. So F1, F2, F3. Um, or I can click on each one and that'll give me this kind of slow transition. But if I double click, I'll get a teleport instantly to each scene, um, which is handy. So I can control the vert or the vertical tilt correction, depth of field, your white balance, your exposure value. Um, so we have some options here, um, depending on how we want to control them. Physical gives us a little bit more control over the shutter speed and F number. So it's a little bit more like a DSLR. And um, what else do we have up here? We have our move, rotate, scale. We have our move, our, uh, this is a navigate around something. You can navigate around selection. This allows us to move our pivot. Which can come in handy. Um, we have another exposure slider up here. You can also control the denoiser. We have some post-processing here. We can turn down our highlight burn, add a lookup table, um, change the color space, adjust the bloom intensity. Um, we have some options to control the bounces for ray trace quality. We can adjust our noise threshold. Um, and we have these other features here. So if we wanted to render, um, we can adjust our resolution here. This is the resolution in the viewport. So the higher we go, the slower that will, will make our performance. So we wanna be careful. See, it's already bogging down there. So if we keep it on 720 um, on a lower card, I have a 2080, which isn't the greatest, but you know, it gives our, our feedback a little bit better. Uh, we can go to 1080 
And this little button here renders a screenshot. So that'll give us kind of an instant screenshot. It's an image saved in the scene folder. Um, this will give us more of a high quality. This is a 4K render. So we can do that, adjust the samples, um, change the camera type, all kind of cool stuff we can do there. And then we can set up an animation. And we basically do that by just dragging these clips down into the timeline. And then we're going to adjust the duration here. And we want to put a transition. So let's throw another one in, make transition after. And our transition should be in here. Just gonna move it, there we go. And we can tr control um, the duration there. So, and then if we wanted to save that, um, we can click on this little teapot here and save our sequence and adjust these settings here. So that's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot to uh, Chaos Vantage. The bulk of the setup and everything is going to be done over in 3ds max and v-ray um, so you're going to want to get everything set up over there and then just uh, control those couple look development things over here and then be able to set up and do some quick rendering for animation or to be able to walk through and show a client the scene at rendered level of detail which is pretty cool um, so I do have that, let me see if this opens here. So I do have this scene set up that um, I have open in 3ds Max. Let me see if that opens for me. Okay, cool. Um, let's see if I can get to the highlight burn. So let me do a live link here and send over okay. let's go to our lights here um, I'm going to turn up the background intensity And let's turn up the other lights here.
All right, so I'm going to remove All right, so I have my live link hooked up here, and I am actually rotating in 3ds Max on the other monitor and updating. day scene here. Oh, there's not a crash. But I think you guys get the idea um, of what this is all about and how it works. And, you know, it's only something to really consider if you're thinking about also getting into V-Ray. And for me, um, the workflow is really tempting simply because I do render in V-Ray already. So, you know, typically the way that that workflow is, I have to set up the scene, set up all the plants, do all the rendering in V-Ray. And then if I wanted to render animation in a reasonable amount of time, you know, with V-Ray animation takes way too long. Um, I mean, even at, a minute per frame, I'm still looking at days and days and days. So for me to, to get into something where I can render more reasonable, um, something like D5 Render or Lumion, I have to take the scene, I have to export it over, I have to reset up all the materials, I have to re-import every one of those plants, I have to re-stage um, every one of those plants, I have to put in all new furniture, um, I have to set up all the cameras again. I have to set up all the environment again. So, you know, if I want to have the luxury of being able to get the best high quality stills that I can get out of V-Ray, but then also want to have the freedom to be able to do animation, that's where Chaos Vantage uh, becomes very, very appealing because it gives you the ability to do that. Even though it's not super full featured, um, I don't have a ton of models in here to choose from, or I don't have a animated people or fire cars or any of that stuff. Um, I do have the ability to do high quality renders and then also do animation. So um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about the potential here to play with this over the next year and just actually see if I can do a project or two in it and see how that works. I have run into some limitations already with my video card um, only being a 2080. So maybe if I'm able to get my hands on a 3080 or 3090 or two 3080s, um, you know, I think Vantage does take advantage of multiple video cards. So, you know, if it becomes more feasible 
that I can uh, render scenes with, you know, all of the plant material, all of the forest pack um, uh, scatters, you know, huge forests and all that stuff like I'm seeing people do. If I have that capability, then yeah, this becomes groundbreaking for me. So, um, and I also see it being a disruptor in the industry because a lot of people, um, they go to something like Lumion because of how long it takes V-Ray to render animation and being able to, you know, V-Ray has gotten a lot faster, but it's just not getting over the hump as far as being able to do animation. So now if that becomes a possibility, then, you know, this render engine gives, um, or V-Ray along with Chaos Vantage for 3ds Max, and then V-Ray along with V-Ray Vision for SketchUp opens up a world of possibility um, for V-Ray users to stay in-house and not have to go to something like Lumion. So anyway, that's my rant on Chaos Vantage, and I hope that was helpful. Um, until next time, have a good one.